Hello once again everyone, I am playing with Moeen, it's time for another PWMW Reacts. This is part three of my uh, Pokemon movie watching series, and uh, unsurprisingly I'm going to be watching movie three, uh, also known as the Entei movie. Um, not particularly one of my favorites, uh, and also this is a movie that um, when I was doing the original run of my uh, movie watching uh, stream series, um, that I did before I did all the face cam stuff, so I'm actually redoing this, but it's actually been a few years, so I really don't remember much of anything that happens because I'm terrible at remembering stuff. Um, what I do remember, like I said, is this is not one of my favorites, um, but you know, we're going to do it anyway because, you know, we got to do them in order and I have to figure out why exactly it's one of not my favorites. So the uh, version of the movie that I'm going to be watching here is uh, 1 hour, 13 minutes, and 39 seconds, just in case anybody wants to watch along. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a Blu-ray, uh, this is a the thing with a dual audio type deal, um, and it's got a Japanese intro for some reason, or not intro, but like the, it's got like a Japanese logo in the beginning for some reason. Um, Oh, and also, as, as far as I know, I should be able to um, take screenshots and post them up here, um, so that way it doesn't, you know, stagnate as much. Hi. Uh, <laughs> the video isn't as stagnant and uh, doesn't just have, like, me in a countdown timer. Um, so yeah, should, should, should be solid to do the screenshot thing, just in case I need to point out something or sync something up or whatever. Alright, so we're going to count it down. So here we go, three, two, one, play. And yeah, looks like it's going. Just a weird black screen for this Japanese intro. Like I said, I, I don't know what this is. Like, um, is it a production company? All right, here we go. Wow, that's, this is actually really nice. That is, that is the one thing that I will say about all these movies is that they go pretty ham with the animation, visual quality. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, wow. Imagine that. Alright, Dad's completely gone insane. Dad's gone super insane, but hey, he's having a good time. I, I do... I do love how, though, that I think that they're really deep in on the, uh, the Gen 2 Pokemon at this point. I am mildly disappointed that the email didn't go ring, 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 email, email. <laughs> so if you guys notice, one of those pictures on the, uh, the... The, the dresser there is, uh, has Professor Oak and uh, Delia Ketchum, which I'm sure won't be important at all later on. Was that a D? P? <clears throat> oh, what does the P mean? Oh, hello. 
Goodbye. Oh, God, that's a lot of them. An M there and a O? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, okay. And he's just gone. That is, wow, that is a smidgen loud. Goodness gracious. Yeah, they are pretty unknown. God, you got the dramatic no. That is a very large moon. I'm sure she won't be scarred for life from this. Oh, um, well, why did they bring those back exactly? Oh boy. <clears throat> yep, this isn't going to go awry at all. And me. Oh, that's cute. You know, if I had to associate them with anything, I would have to say that the unknown are sort of like a, a monkey's paw sort of entity or entities where you can wish for something, but it's not going to come out the way you want. Please say no. Please say no. Yeah, like I said, everything's going horribly awry. Hmm. Who could have seen that coming? Oh, good God. Whoa. That dude is very strong. <laughs> no, I asked, what are they? Uh oh. It's like, I don't remember having no kid. Oh, 
And the sun rises and everything's perfectly fine. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Wow. This whole, like, crystal thing that they came up with is actually really unique. I, I like the way that it looks. Um, so... I, I do wonder, though, if this is the, like, an actual Entei or just some sort of manifestation of, uh, Molly's wishes. All right. So here we go with movie number three. This is in Japanese, so I... Lord of the Unknown Tower. All right, that's slightly different than what I'm seeing here. This is, uh, in the, the English dub, the subtitle is Spell of the Unknown, Entei. Ha ha ha. Unknown territory. Oh, I remember this trainer. The one, yeah, her. I, I she looks like she would be in the game. Toad Tile out first, I think. Yep. I do like this remix. Oh, and Granbull. Wow. Well, that's... <laughs> wow. Imagine having a Granbull and getting one shot by a Toad Tile. Hey, hey, it's a uh, Ferrigaraf. Please, please don't open your mouth at me. I, I do have to say though, when when they were talking about Gen Nine and they announced Ferrigaraf, I I laughed so hard. I I just I, like I couldn't believe that was the name. Which I mean, and not in a bad way. I just I thought the name was clever and funny. All right, well, Chikorita gets one shot now. Also, let me make sure that I'm portraying this. Wearing my uh, Nintendo shirt here for this, you know, because this is such a such a special occasion. You know, I had to bust out bust out a special shirt. Ah, hey, a shiny knock towel. I forgot all about that. So, which was a good way for the anime to uh, sort of uh, introduce shiny Pokemon. Because I can only imagine if you didn't have the internet or you didn't have, like, a player's guide or something, there was n almost no way you would find or you would know about shiny Pokemon unless you actually ran into one. You know, aside from the shiny Gyarados. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> you know, now that I think about that, ignore everything I just said. The shiny Gyarados is supposed to be your introduction to shiny Pokemon. Whoops. Cyndaquil. Best starter. And he got one... Oh, okay. I was, gonna, I was about to say he got one shot. Wonderful. No, he didn't. I'm a little confused... I, I guess for animation purposes, it's not confusing, but for actual battling purposes, it's very confusing that they keep recalling their Pokemon every single time the other the other trainers faints. But for the anime point of the animation standpoint, they're like, hey, we got to show off as many Pokemon as we possibly can in this hour and a half movie. Uh, Sir Quagsire is immune to that, and unlike Rhydon, it doesn't have a horn that you can uh, focus down with your electric attacks. Goofy anime nonsense. Yeah, aim for the horn, Pikachu. Oh, wee! Pikachu's like, you know what? I actually did want to swing. Oh, I, th 
I thought he was going to pull a, a ride on there. <laughs> I was about to say, he's not going to end up with another electric attack, is he? Is that, I'm assuming that that's, I guess her Quagsire is supposed to be like her ace in the hole if it 1v1 Pikachu. <laughs> Butterfree is the best. Lisa, okay. Where? <laughs> In made up town. Listen, you can't just make up these towns and then just say, oh, yes, these they always existed. I'm kidding, by the way. <sighs> Moving along, that's very pretty. Done, done, done. Look at what the unknown did. Wow, that is, whoa, that's actually way cooler than I remembered. Hmm. Love that. <laughs> I mean, I will say, aside from it being kind of terrifying, it's terrifyingly beautiful. It, it doesn't look, it doesn't look ugly or whatever they just said. Okay, it's like the the news reporter duo from Gen Three. I like how the little windmill is fine. Yep. <laughs> like I said, this won't this won't come back to be important at all later on. What, hello? Where are we going? I'm getting, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> oh my god, that was horrible. Hey, Tracy. What is unknown? Um, like, Professor Oak's lab can't be that far away from Ash's house, right? It was like, it's like it was spinning around in circles a bunch of times, <laughs> getting me nauseous. Whee! Lovely. You know what's always crazy to me in these movies is that there's always, like, this world-ending thing that ends up happening, and if unchecked, will totally destroy everything and ruin everybody's lives, and then it totally gets resolved and everything's fine by the end. Ah, uh, yes, of course, she just happens to be watching that.
Duh! <laughs> Oh dear. Wow. <laughs> These are very fast. Which makes sense. You know, the, the three legendary dogs are supposed to be, like, insanely fast. That's why they teleport around Johto when you try to catch them. Huh? All right, that's totally not weird at all. So what the heck? Get away from me. Uh, so the things that it's creating on the ground are making it more and more obvious to me that to answer my question from earlier, yes, it does seem to be a creation of the unknown. But also, this is, you know... This is kind of the goofiness of this episode, or this movie, is, like, I, I don't know, it just seems so, I, it just seems so pointless to have Ash's mom be the one that's, that's, gets captured here. Okay. Bro, she's not dead. She's just in that big castle flower thing. Also, she has the same sort of um, hypnotized eyes like uh, Nurse Joy did in the first movie. The... the they really like their hypnosis in the Pokemon series. Yeah, this isn't weird at all. So the reason why I think it's weird and, and pointless is because they could have done this with anybody. They, they could have done this with literally any character, and they could have done this with anybody else's mom. And the stakes would have still been exactly the same, but they had to put in Ash's mom for the, I guess, the recognizability for anybody that watches the anime. Oh, hey, this is Ash's mom. Oh, no, a character that I know is in trouble. But it's just like, it just seems so random to like shoehorn her in like that. That is one heck of a view, I will say. Oh, look, and it's a one way mirror, too. Fairly daunting. Are they not, are they going into the thing? Like, what, what are they doing? Oh, wow, hey, it's the. Pokemon trading card game icons. Love the uh, old school PCs going on there. Is that it? Oh, this is the uh, place that Charizard went, right? And there's the, like the Dragon Lady or something. Yeah. Not Claire, but just like some random dragon lady that, yeah, has a, a female Charizard. Which, of course, we wouldn't know otherwise that it's female if it didn't have a pink bow on its head. And who's, who's piloting this thing? Oh, it's literally just destroying everything. Okay, yeah, that seems like a great idea. Who is driving that? <clears throat> I 
Oh, okay. Oh, it's just some rando. Okay, well. I don't get paid enough for this. I was like, just realized that this also has the subtitles, specifically for the Japanese version, so I can just kind of like read the translated Japanese version and kind of compare it to the English uh, dub. And so far, it seems fairly accurate. Which, I mean, I've only seen like a minute worth, but... Oh, Pokey Gear? Wow. Okay, the, the Japanese dub was completely different there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, yikes. <laughs> I didn't really like that joke. For a second, I thought that was Zatu. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. So apparently the, this mansion has a name, and it's supposed to be the Snow Dawn home. So I guess like they have like an actual surname in the Japanese version. I wonder. Well, I I don't think you want him to get down from there. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> no. Well, I guess I guess one redeeming thing is that it was it's nice that she was able to break out the out of the hypnosis and do it fairly easily. But it is weird that that they are watching exactly what's happening outside of their home and that the news reporters happen to sh be showing what is happening outside of their home like constantly. <clears throat> it's like they have like their own like little uh, security system set up like they have a ring <laughs> ring doorbell before it was a thing Turn them into reality, the feelings in their hearts, and then reacting to what they feel from the girl's heart. Okay. Oh, okay, never mind. He did have a surname. It's Hale in the English version. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Get him, Cyndaquil. Oh, okay, never mind. My bad. <clears throat> Brox Vulpix, maybe? Yep. Wee. Doesn't seem safe. <laughs> He's just holding them while they're blasting the water. <laughs> I miss Totodile. <sighs> but see, the thing that I'm not getting an answer to is why are the unknown here? Like, are they just doing this because they feel like it? And, like, why did they latch onto her? I don't get it. I don't know. It just seems so weird. <laughs> like, this just had to happen because it had to happen. Also, that is some incredible interior design with the uh, floating stairs. Whoa, okay. God, I feel like I'm suddenly in, in uh, Trigun, in the, uh, what was it, the Seeds uh, ships? God, they really... It... Oh, ow. Um, they really have to, like, four kids really, 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 like, jammed in, like, these, you know, American jokes that Americans would get, but obviously they don't exist in the Japanese version. <laughs> oh, the personal ad joke. Oh, dear. Not only is that dated, but it was just bad. I mean, you might as well be a Pokemon trainer. I mean, you have a legendary Pokemon right now, and that's pretty much all you need to destroy everything and every anybody in your way. Oh, okay. That's different. Okay. 
And she gets a cape and everything. Dun, dun, dun. God, she looks like Claire. Where's my mother? Okay, that took forever for me to find. Uh, actually, she looks like a, a beta version of um, Caitlyn, the uh, Elite Four from Gen 5. Yeah, this is going to go great. And day, I choose you. Hmm. I wonder how this battle is going to go. <clears throat> Mr. Magoodit. And yeah, that's that's how I expected that to go. Wow, that was exactly the same line as in the Japanese version. <laughs> you did your best. God, that's really weird. Um, all right, Brock, she's like eight. Uh. Um So again there it's like they're repeating things from previous Films already. Wow, that made a lot of sense. Uh, oh my god, that nearly killed him. Um, the created Pokemon, you know, like with with the first movie and the the um, the clone Pokemon, like this is sort of the same uh, idea where you know she kind of makes up her own Pokemon and creates them out of her imagination. Okay, but she's there, too? 
Okay, now I'm confused. So the Japanese version, she, she says she, that she can have the book if she wants. I don't know if that's important. What is that? Looks like a, a sunflower monster. Okay, so she's like dreaming her, this is like her dream self? Okay, well, there's my answer. <laughs> she introduces herself as the herself as the world's most beautiful girl. <laughs> that is some incredible um, insight for her to just figure that out like that. Okay. Yeah, that didn't look safe. <clears throat> What is going on? Wait a minute, what? Okay. Wow, it's just like a dream where you can breathe underwater. Yep. I've had plenty of those dreams, actually. Oh, wow. Kingra's Japanese name, if anybody didn't know, is Kingdra. My Steady? So she nicknames her Pokemon? In the Japanese version? That's actually interesting. I'm actually disappointed that they didn't carry that over into the English dub. Rip. You know, random aside, I do find it weird how they picked Goldeen as the do-nothing Pokemon in the Smash series, as opposed to Magikarp. In fact, if I remember correctly, Goldeen doesn't even learn Splash. Also, no, Meowth, you won't. Oh, Mantine, cool. Okay, I will say it is very cool that uh, the way Star U just kind of like spins around like that. <laughs> Not like this, but the way it was moving around spinning. That was an interesting counter. Also, uh, another uh, fun fact, Mantine's Japanese name is Mantine. Uh, Entei should be dead. It's in the water. 
That's what it's weak to. Oh, hey, how's it going? Like, wake her up so Misty Auto wins the battle. Uh -huh. You know, it'd be hilarious if, like, he had, like, a, a total, like, tantrum over this, and he was like, no, Mom, different Pokemon have different names. God, we've been over this. Uh, you just don't understand. <laughs> oh, quick, yes, wake her up, quick. Misty will win. She wins. <clears throat> I have to go by. Oh, come on. Why is that a shocking revelation to her? Oh, boy, here we go. Well, we got another one. No! <clears throat> Dramatic. No! Um, also, I do find this kind of interesting, that, that Unknown's Japanese name is literally the word unknown, which is, that carries plenty of impl implications. I think I think she can tell that little girl's probably gonna die if she just leaves. Oh no, never mind. And Tay's here, so everything's fine. What happened to Misty? Yeah, here we go. Uh, shocker of the century. I gotta sneeze. It's coming. Strawberries. Also, I just said that because there was like a... an old urban legend that I heard from my friends where if you have to sneeze and you say the word strawberries, you won't have to sneeze anymore. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This is why you're champion. He is now. It only took him, you know, 20 years or whatever, but, you know, he made it. <clears throat> 20, 20 years spent as a 10-year-old boy, but he did it. In a weird way, I actually do kind of wish that it was a real Entei that, like, the unknown just, like, pulled in from wherever the heck it was. And not, you know, yet another, like, clone. <clears throat> I'm, I am this girl's father. Alright. <clears> that was, like, a way more overwrought in the Japanese version. So after what's it been forty eight minutes, we finally get some decent Pokemon battling. Oh. 
Whoa. This is dangerous. <clears throat> but then again, they're always dangerous. Like, it, it's actually insane. Like, the, the sheer, like, near-death experiences that they have in the anime is wild. And here comes another one. Charizard! It's Charizard! Blair the Bugles! <laughs> Yeah, it only took you 20 minutes to get here, but hey, you know, you made it literally right when he was about to die. Could you imagine if, if Charizard was just, like, waiting outside? Like, waiting for that to happen? Like, alright, Charizard, you're on! Friend, what does that mean? Grr, I am mad that you said that. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh, for the love of God, come on. Why is Team Rocket helping? Hello? Just pull him in? Oh, they... In the Japanese version, they call themselves their their friends. They said, "We're your friends from Team Rocket." We've been around each other for a while, huh? <laughs> but in the English dub, of course, they had to put put in some corny joke. Uh, those aren't real Pokemon, you dumb child. Is that how it works? The really confusing thing about this is that this is apparently the unknown that are that are doing this, but we don't. There's there's no way to gauge how the unknown feel, what the unknown are thinking, or what the unknown are actually doing. Like, why are they even doing this? It's like, oh, we're doing this because uh, we needed a movie. Also, if I remember correctly, this is the goofiest part of the, the the movie. Like, this just goes on for ages. And Tay almost gets hit, he gets away, and he lands safely. And he's back in the fight. There he goes. Yep, he falls down again, lands lands perfectly, and he's back in the fight. Fire spin. I'll say it for you, Ash. Don't worry. Oh, oh, yep, and he gets away, and he lands safely, and he's back in the fight. <laughs> That's three. No. <laughs> and he's like, nah. It, it does seem strange that the one person that would not be in any... 
any position of power or decision making is the one that they're trying to plead to. They either need to plead to the girl or to the unknown. JP version, she said, if you if she's here, she'll always be alone. Yeah, those spikes are really obnoxious. Can I get farther away from the whatever? Wouldn't have dramatic tension otherwise, apparently. Oh, okay. See you later, fake uh, Flaffy and Teddy Ursa. Oh, and Charizard's about to get unalived. Charizard's like, man, I've had I've had better neck massages than that. Yeah, Molly, you'll totally be a gym leader someday because we'll definitely see you again after this movie's over. Was with this like really slow walk. Why was that like so dramatically slow? What, what was what was that? I thought like something was gonna happen. And just like that, everything's back to normal. <laughs> Just like I said. Oh, see a fake Pokemon. Even Team Rocker are like, hmm? What? What is happening? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a Q and A session after this movie. <laughs> Like I said, we they have to put in some kind of dramatic tension somehow. So what am I supposed to believe? Like the unknown or like losing control of their own power? <sighs> of course. I love how that's actually the reason! How does that make sense? (laughs) 
Oh man, we created this huge castle uh, this whole time. We were doing all this magic stuff and everything's has been going completely the way we wanted to. And then all of a sudden, now that the girl wants it over, now we can't control it anymore. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> it is what it is. Are they going to explode or something? Yes, of course. We, we have to have a stupid Ash, or Ash runs in and gets hurt moment. Misty looks so defeated. So does Team Rocket. Well, gee, if Ash can't do it, and Charizard can't do it, and Pikachu can't do it, gee, I wonder who could do it. Hey, Fire and Electric. That was my uh, the very first Pokemon uh, trading card game deck that I ever made. It was a Fire and Electric deck. Ah, gee gosh and golly, they almost had it. <sighs> Get Entei off the bench already. Where's everybody else? <laughs> they just... The budget ran out and they couldn't draw the other characters. Oh, they're there. Are we going to get Entei in here, or are we just going to keep dragging this out? Yep, we get the point. They're in dire situation. They're in dire straits, as it were. Who's that? Could it be? It's Kiram! He appeared from, the, from Gen 5 just to show up for a movie in Gen 2. I don't know why I picked Kiram. It's just like the first post-Gen 2 Legendary, think of. So, in this movie, the power of imagination trumps the power of friendship, is what they're saying. If that's what you wish. Well, at least they had Pikachu and Charizard come back in, and I guess help. I, I mean, I really can't tell if they're actually doing anything, or if they're just there for the moral support. I, it, I don't know. It, that doesn't make any sense to me, that the creation of the unknown would be the thing to defeat the unknown. But the the girl that they drew their strength from had no control over them, like, directly. 
And there goes the alphabets. Alphabets, you know, like the cereal. Oh, hey, he's glowing like in the in the book. I can't believe it. He was an illusion all along. So, I guess I have one remaining question. What happened to her actual father? Oh, okay. Well, that's that, I guess. Oh, okay, bye. Yep, we're out of here. See ya. <laughs> Have fun cleaning all this up. Uh, how nice that it didn't do any, like, actual permanent damage to the structure or the flooring or anything or yeah the grass or the flowers that you know got bulldozed over and all that stuff now everything's fine oh hey the, it actually did soak up the windmill I, I guess i missed that part and the sun shines on another beautiful perfect sunny day where absolutely nothing has gone wrong Also, I do love, and I just realized, before they got into the mansion, Misty, like, stuffs Togepi into her bag, and we literally never see Togepi the whole time. That's an interesting way to write the Togepi out. Oh, can't you go at the back? I don't think the police have the police surrounded. I think they're just in the front. Interesting. In the Japanese version, Jessie calls herself a lonely young girl. Oh, and then and then says to Molly that we're your friends. I, I don't know why the subtitles got insanely dis, uh, desynced. Oh, okay. Dang it. What is with this little bug? Okay, so he's still alive? Yeah, okay. 
It was all just a dream, buddy. Okay, well, I guess that wraps up all the questions that I had for this movie, aside from the fact, aside from the main overarching question of what was the point of this movie? I guess other than, you know, hey, we had to make another Pokemon movie, and, you know, hey, let's think up something that we can do with one of the legendary Pokemon. Oh, I know, make it a, make it a dream. <laughs> make it a, a, a little girl's imagination. <clears throat> all right, so that was interesting. Um, I will say though that of all of the um, uh, all the four kids uh, voice actors, um, you know, and I mean, four kids has had some really good ones. Um, you know, that I, I love Veronica Taylor. Um, you know, the original voice of Ash. You know, she did Ash here. Uh, also, the voice of May. Um, you know, Maddie Blaustein, um, Eric Stewart. Um, what was it Co Colleen Clinkenbeard, the one that took over for Veronica Taylor? You know, despite the the um, uh, uh, <laughs> what's the word uh, controversial circumstances of uh, how the voice actors got replaced. Um, she did a fantastic job with um, um, with with Ash as a character. Um, actually, no, I wait. Why do I feel like I'm wrong about that? Why do I feel like there was another uh, voice actor for Ash in between her and Veronica Taylor? Unless I'm completely missing that. Ah, Sarah Nanochetti. That, that was it. Well, who's... Wait. Wait, why did I say... Who's... Wait a minute. Who's Colleen Plinkenbeard? <laughs> where did I where did I get that name from? Anyway, um, oh she was oh she was she was she does the voice of Luffy and the English dub. Whoops, I don't, I don't know why I got those confused, but hey, I've been watching uh, plenty of One Piece lately. Um, so yeah, sorry, na sorry. Sarah Nanochetti uh, did a fantastic job. Um, anyway, the point that I was getting to was that one name stands above the rest um, for me uh, of all the four kids uh, dub actors, and that's Dan Green. Um, of course, he did the voice of Entei in this movie, and um, I think he's a little bit more well-known for doing um, uh, the main character of Yugi, the first series, Yugi and, and Yami Yugi. Just... I don't know. He, it's a fantastic voice actor. I really like him. So this is kind of a, a cute uh, little outro. Uh, I assume this is her mom? So what, was that the... Wait, are you, are you telling me that that's the way that this, this movie, like, outros? Was that she finds her mom, too? There's no way. There's no way that that's that's what I just witnessed. Oh my god! The like the writing for this uh, on the uh, Pokemon or Bulbapedia is horrendously long. Uh, Professor Hale returns to the mountain or to the mansion and brought along her mother as well. What? <laughs> so you're telling me that everything that happened in this movie? was pointless. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. That's, um, that's probably why I rated this one fairly low. Um, I, I think earlier on in the, uh, in this series, I was talking about where I ranked each of the Pokemon movies um, based on my full rewatch of them back in like 2016 or 2017. Uh, and for context for this movie, if I can friggin' find it, uh, I have the Entei movie hit number 18 out of 20. Out of the first 20 movies, I rated it 18 out of 20. Literally the third worst movie out of all of them. Oh boy. Yeah, that was, um, that was rough. Um, just, I don't know, the, the plot was weird. Um, the, the way the plot advances was weird. 
and very forced. Um, the way that the characters were utilized was weird. Um, I, I just, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand what the creative process was when they were making this movie, other than let's, like I said before, let's make another Pokemon movie and let's shoehorn another a legendary Pokemon in there and figure out something to do for it. I'm just, I'm lost. I'm at a loss. I don't understand why there, why can't there ever just be a movie where it's like Ash runs into a legendary Pokemon and the next hour is him trying to battle and catch this Pokemon. That's, I would literally rather watch that than what this movie just showed me. Oh dear. Um, anyway, so that's going to be it for this, uh, this video. If you like this video, please uh, give this video a like, uh, subscribe, and um, you know, hit that notification bell too. Uh, it helps me out. Um, and yeah, I, I really I don't know what else to say other than I'm baffled and bewildered. <sighs> Pokemon the Movie Three: Spell of the Unknown. That's gonna be it for this video. I will see you all next time.